Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm covering ReadQuick. It's a speed reading application by the guys at Action now. If you've been following our blog on iPhoneS.com or our YouTube channel, you've seen the reviews that we've done for Accelerate, for Faster Pro, for Quick Reader. All these applications provide you with a speed reading training so you can learn how to read faster. Now, why would you want to read, be able to read faster? Just imagine those days that you were typing or learning how to type and you were doing it one letter at a time. A lot of old folks still do it and that's fine. But if you're writing an article that has thousand words and you're typing one letter at a time, imagine how much time it's going to get take to finish such an article. Whereas if you could learn to type faster, you can finish your work faster, you can do other things with your time. The same applies with reading. With reading, you don't want to sacrifice any reading comprehension. So that's why this train it takes training. It takes a little bit of time to master this art. And applications that read quick helps you. This particular application especially helps you get a better understanding of what your speed is and how you can improve it. It shows you has tools that help that help you to take your reading skills to the next level slowly going at the speed that you're comfortable with and just increasing it a little bit and the good news is here that you can actually read what you want not like other applications we've covered they have classic books that you have to keep up with they don't really allow custom content this one actually does so let's say I want to go to my browser I type something I like an article, I save it to my account, done, it's in my account now, it says based on my speed that I have in mind, it's going to take 31 seconds, the speed I can change it to, let's say, let's go very slow, so it's going to take a minute if you go by that to finish that article, you double tap, shows it one letter at a time, or one word at a time, sorry about that, and you double tap to stop it, you can reset, you can modify text, you can even add it to your favorite, you can even create a playlist, just imagine you could just add your favorite articles that you find every single day and then at the, at the end of the day, say you're ready to go to bed but you want to do get some practice in speed reading, you can take advantage of this and go to your favorite, see the articles that you've added there, the time that it takes. You can also take advantage of the content that they have. These are content partners that they have and some very popular sites. They call it feature sources. You don't have to rely on this again. You can go to the browser, but it shows you the reading time based on what you had there can add it to your playlist, you can obviously share it, favorite it, or just read it right there. If you change the speed to 800 and go back, see, it's going to take you 8 seconds to read that article if you could read 800 words per minute. I'm not even close to any of those numbers, I don't even know how people read that fast if they do. But for me, to be able to finish an article, maybe just a couple of minutes, an article that has a few thousand words, maybe, you know, a few minutes, not not taking a day to read it. I mean, that'd be that'd be very nice for me, and so I can actually read articles, grab, the, absorb the information, and be able to blog about it or have a discussion on our podcast. You do have access to Pocket, Instapaper. You can also go to your time playlist, so you add it to your playlist, and then you say, let's say you want to do an hour of reading speed reading training so you add enough articles that it gets to an hour and then you can just play it and it shows you how, how long your playlist is gonna be so you see my playlist is right now three minutes but it can go more if I add more articles and let's do that right now it's five minutes so I really like the approach. The price five dollars is nothing really, 
because you can learn how to read faster and it's one of the most underrated skills to have to be able to read fast and actually understand what you're reading i mean anyone can read fast and just not really get anything out of the re what you're reading but if you're understanding what you're reading you're not sacrificing anything but you're reading faster you can read so many books articles and get more productive I do like the approach again. I like to be, get more sophisticated tools to organize readings, maybe support more features, more services, third-party services, being able to have do more things with playlists. That'd be important as well. Maybe some coverage on different techniques to get rid of bad habits, things like that. So, But overall, nice, nice try by the guys at Action Now. I hope you enjoyed this short review. For more information, more tips, please go to iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. And also, don't forget to check other speed reading applications that we've covered. Thanks again, guys.